favorite people are Rancho Los Amigos, Julie, and um, I completely forgot my speech, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you know, just so happy to have those conversations and reflect on the memories that I've had at Rancho Los Amigos. And um, I, I, I really, it's a really, a really a emotional experience for me just to kind of reflect on that and, and have those conversations and uh, think about where I, where I used to be and how I felt, you know, when I initially got injured and had to go through such a life-changing event, so. Um, but first and foremost, I'd like to just, you know, throughout the, throughout the day earlier today as I arrived, I was just recognizing how, how amazing we all look today. Can we just can we, can we, can we, can we, can we take a moment to, to look to the person beside of you and, and just say, wow, you look amazing. <laughs>
you know, why did I make it through this? Like, there was really no reason for me to, to move forward living, you know, in this completely different life because I knew it was just going to be completely different, which, which it was and it is compared to what I was living before. And so my initial thought was there's no way I'm going to go to school. There's no way I'm going to work. There's no way I'm going to do the things that I was doing, playing football, playing sports, doing all these amazing things that I love to do. Play sports my entire life, so it was just like instantly just kind of removed from me. And so um, I went to USC Medical for a couple of months, and then I ended up getting transferred to Rancho Los Amigos, and, and that's when that's when I started to see the bright side of things. Um, that's when I met people like Dr. Serino and, and Julie and all the amazing people at Rancho who really made an impact in my life. And uh, to this day, like I mentioned earlier, you know, reflecting on those times and, and talking about those times and still talking about how we can make a difference together. Um, so at Rancho, I was involved in programs like uh, the recreational therapy with the Disneyland. We went to the movies, we went to the mall. And I, remember, I remember going to Disneyland with Julie and, and just everyone. And we were, we were going to the log ride, you know, the, the Splash Mountain. And I'm like, how the heck am I going to get into this log ride? <laughs> Way down here to the ground. I was just making sure that don't worry, we, we got you, you know, we got you. We're, we're going to make this happen. And we made it happen. And I remember going down, down, you know, the big drop and thinking, like, I'm about to fly out of this log. <laughs> and she was like, don't worry, I'm going to hold on to you. And she held like, on to me. And from that point on, I was just, because my mindset was like, I'm not going to be able to do anything. And she told me that everything is possible still. <clears throat> she told me anything is possible in the world. She was right. And she was right. And just my time at Rancho being involved in different programs, um, I just remember that to this day, and it really made a tremendous impact on my life. Not only then, but now, not only for me, but for everyone at Rancho Los Amigos. So all the programs at Las Turistas, is involved in and, and all the money that is raised that goes towards those programs, I want you all to know that it was truly life-changing. Not only for me, not only for the, the inpatients, the outpatients, but also for everyone involved at, at Rancho Los Amigos. It's truly an experience. So, um, you know, I can say from the bottom of my heart, you know, thank you. Just thank you all for just taking the time, you know, to come out here and contribute to this, this great cause, this great organization. And, and um, in addition to those programs, I was also the most recent you know, scholarship recipient that received $8,000 from Las Cruces to help fund my graduate education at Azusa Pacific. So I definitely want to thank uh, Las Cruces for that. Uh, that was, thank you. So a little, a little story behind that, you know, um, I, so after I after I left Rancho Los Amigos and benefited from all the amazing programs there and met all the amazing people there who really inspired me and, and not only inspired me but educated me and supported me and, and not only me but my family and made us aware of hey you can do this this is possible it can be done it has been done and you will make you will make it happen and they were absolutely right and you know moving forward I was thinking well how am I going to go back to school you know how am I going to just kind of live life. Right, what is that going to look like for me? And I remember thinking, like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. And um, long story short, I was invited to to share my story at a local high school at one time. And, and all the feedback that I got from there afterwards, it really inspired me to, okay, we can do this. I can do this. And then I enrolled at the community college, the local community college, Cerritos College. Um, I you know, started off with uh, one or two classes, and then I, I finally realized, you know what, I can, I can do this. And I've always been someone who valued education. Uh, my parents didn't have the privilege to, to pursue a higher education, but they've always told me, you know, like, are you going to go to college? Do you want to go to college? Since I was a little kid in elementary school. And I remember telling them, you know, yes. I didn't, in elementary school, I had no idea what it was, but I would tell them yes because they were making me happy. And so I started to learn as I got older what, what that was and what it was about and why they wanted me to pursue that. So you know, that always stuck into the background of my mind just forever. And that's what really drove me along with my parents' support, you know, rancho support, and just everyone around me. Um, so I enrolled at Wolfgang Community College, ended up going full time. And then I ended up um, benefiting from the BSPS support services there, and I transferred to Cal State Dominguez Hills, where I got my undergraduate degree there. 
And then afterwards, I was thinking, you know what? You know, I, I want to do my master's, but I don't know what I want to do it. You know, what I want it in. So, you know, while I was contemplating on that, I um, I was um, I started substitute teaching with the local school district, and then I also was a high school football coach for a JV football team. Oh, wow. And um, so I started doing these things that I never thought I would be doing. Right? I was just like, I would, I would, I would think like, okay, I, I want to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make it happen. And um, I know just from going back to the Julie and, and just the support that I had, I was, there's nothing that can stop me. You know, if I want to do this, it's possible. And I, I was doing that for about a year and a half, and then I finally decided you know, what I want, I want to make. I want to pursue my graduate degree um, in school counseling because I feel like that's where I can have the biggest impact on, on you. Um, because I knew that I didn't want them to experience what I experienced in addition to so many other things. And I felt like my passion and, and uh, commitment to education and, and supporting young people um, was within education and at the high school level. So I wanted to do, I, I felt like school counseling would be the best place for me. So I applied to Azusa Pacific University for the educational and clinical counseling of the dual program. And you know what, I was, I was just realizing, wow, this APU is a private school, very expensive. Um, I need to start applying for scholarships. <laughs> and, uh, I came across, I forget who introduced me, but uh, Las Barista just came to mind and I had seen their scholarship and I was like, wow, $8,000? I don't think I'm going to get this scholarship. That's, that's too high for me. I don't think I'm going to get that, right? I'm going to get the $200 scholarship, the $500 that. You know, and then I applied and, and, and then I get an, uh, I believe it was an email from Amanda and it was a congratulatory card or letter and it was a congratulations, you know, uh, email and uh, that's when I, was, I just, I couldn't believe it. So I just really couldn't believe it. Thank you. Appreciate it. 